Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about four different types of introverts. We know introverts are those reserved, quiet individuals who are more introspective. They are getting their energy from solitude, from being alone. When they're in social situations, they're giving away their energy. But did you know that there are different types of introverts? Dr. Jonathan Cheek, who's a psychology professor at Wellesley College, came up with four different types of introverts. And as an introvert, you might see yourself as a mixture or a blend of some of these types. I know that I do. Or you might be able to identify more with one type than the other. First of all, an easy way to remember these four types is to remember the acronym STAR. So let's go ahead and start with the S for STAR, and that is the social introvert. These are the introverts that are commonly accused of, you can't be introverted because you're so sociable. The social introvert enjoys those social interactions. The social introvert is social, however, still introverted. What that means is they appreciate socializing. They really value it. They don't like big crowds. They don't want to be the center of attention, but they like those quieter settings to just be able to socialize and really have those relationships with other people. They're also not hesitant to start a conversation. They're not reticent in offering information about themselves. They are sociable. And because they're introverted, they also need those breaks. So although they like to socialize, they also need that time of solitude to break away, to regain their energy. The second type of introvert, which is the T in STAR, stands for the thinking introvert. Thinking introverts are always thinking. In fact, they're thinking so much that they are in their head pretty much all the time. They are not really caring a lot about socialization because they are so busy just thinking and observing. They are fine sitting on the sidelines when a group of people are in discussion and just sitting there observing them and thinking deep thoughts about, ah, I wonder what's more of this person's story or I wonder what they really mean by that. They are all about thinking at deep depths. These are the kind of introverts that can pass you in the hall or pass you on the street, and they don't even realize that they've passed you because they're in their thoughts. A lot of times the thinking introverts are thinking about themselves. They have a great deal of self-awareness about their thoughts, their feelings, their beliefs on things. So they're thinking about a lot of things and a lot of that time is spent in self-reflection. The A in STAR stands for the anxious introvert. The anxious introvert is anxious in social settings. They feel more self-conscious, like people who are shy, who are always wondering how they're coming across. They're not necessarily lost in their thoughts, but they are thinking as far as wondering, how am I coming across? How am I being perceived? Did I say or do the wrong thing? This is the type of introvert that is ruminating a lot over the things that they may have said and done in a social situation. And I've got a video above and in the description below all about ruminating. These anxious introverts sometimes will hold back in social situations, not because they don't want to get involved or they don't want to socialize. They're just not quite sure how they're coming across. And so they're feeling very self-conscious. And the R is for the restrained introvert. The restrained introvert holds back. They hold back in social connections. They won't let their guard down until they feel comfortable. They also are very structured and they like a lot of routine. So they think of just the opposite from somebody who's impulsive. The restrained introvert needs a long time to, to warm up to people and needs a long time to warm up to actions before they feel like they're ready. So the restrained introverts are reserved and inhibited. 
Now, are you an introvert and do you see yourself as a mix of more than one of these different types of introverts? That is totally normal, but it helps us better understand ourselves and for those of you who are wanting to better understand introverts as well. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you have found this video helpful, I hope you'll share it and subscribe to my channel.